Alright then guys, welcome to a brand new video. This one's on a brand new Rocket League flick. Now, I've looked absolutely everywhere for this one and I can't find it anywhere. Um, I've looked in so many flick compilations. Um, I've searched up so many, like all the different flicks in Rocket League and I literally can't find it anywhere. If it's been done um, before, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but it took me a long time to edit this one. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so, just to let you know, all flicks are really hard. <coughs> Wrong. This one is quite easy, and it looks cool. Let me help you. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get a picture of a car. So, when we front flip, the nose of our car is going to go forwards and then down. This is what allows us to get into the front flip position. Now let's turn our car upside down. Imagine we're in a turtle position, so roof downwards. When we front flip, the nose of our car is going to go forwards and then upwards. This is what allows us to get the corkscrew flip mechanic. Dribbling and flicks happens constantly throughout every single Rocket League match. Good dribbling and effective flicks make a huge difference when advancing the ball. If you can consistently know how to get around the defender with dribbles and flicks, you'll have a much better chance of winning the game. The good thing about dribbles and flicks is that they can be advanced further. Not only to gain an advantage over your opponent, they can be used for many other scenarios such as shots and passes. Dribbles and flicks play an enormous part to Rocket League. They sum up your ball control as a whole. For someone in low ranks, even the simplest amount of ball control can go a long way. Likewise, for someone in higher ranks, the more advanced your dribbles and flicks are, the better and more consistent your advancements within the game will be. The corkscrew flick I'm about to show you will demonstrate how the smallest of ball touches can cause a one goal game changer in Rocket League. If I was to take an estimate for the rank that this flick is friendly to, I would definitely say a gold 2 is capable. With practice and free play, the easier and more consistent you will be with it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into an example. Okay, so as we can see here, just a quick example there, I'm going to slow it down right now. So, we can see I've jumped, gone into turtle position and then front flip to send the ball over the opponent's car. This is a very, very easy mechanic to sort out. We're going to go in a slower version now. Okay, so we've gone into the turtle position, we're going to front flip to push the ball up and over the opponent's car. As you can see, it's not that complicated, is it? Another example again, just the slightest of touches to send it over the top of the opponent's car. After all, it is only a mind game. Simple mind games will cause simple goals in Rocket League. Okay, so now I'm going to jump into a training. I'm just going to show you how it works. Alright, so now we're in a training. So, as you can see, um, very simple. We're not going to use the ball at the minute. We're just going to get the, um, the general... Um, the, the general movement as to how the corkscrew flick actually works. Um, the reason why I call it a corkscrew flick, in case you're wondering, is because you, with a corkscrew, when you when you take a corkscrew, for example, out a wine bottle, you twist and then lift. So that's sort of like, sort of the reason why I call it a corkscrew flick. I haven't really got a proper name. It probably does have a, uh, a proper name, but um, yeah, I, I'm not too sure. Anyway, so it's very simple. As you saw me just do, you simply jump and land it in a turtle position. Now, a turtle position is very simple. It's just your roof facing downwards. I'm in a turtle position right now. Um, so yeah, you want to jump and practice getting in that turtle position. Um, 
If you're a, if you're a beginner, um, it's simply just air roll. Um, you can air, uh, either air roll left um, or you can simply air roll right. Um, very simple, um, that's all it is. And this flick is actually very simple. We're already halfway there. All you have to do is once you've gone into the turtle position, front flip. And that's, that's literally it. Just turtle position and front flip. That's all it is. Turtle position, front flip. <clears throat> Just practice doing this in a uh, in a standard training. Um, it'll definitely help you practice your your mechanics before you actually practice doing it on the ball. Um, I like to I like to practice a load of drills without the ball before um, before I actually start getting into them. Just so that I can get used to the uh, general uh, controls as to how I, how it works and I can get my head around it. Now there is a certain training pack that I do recommend. I'm going to show you it right now. Um, so it, it should be. We go to custom. Um, I've got it in my favourites. It's called um, delayed flicks. Um, if you just want to pause the video and look at the code, um, and then you can type that in, and you can get this um, this training pack. So I'll show you how it works now. Okay, right. So now we are in this training pack. You should start with a ball. Um, in this position here and you'll know you're in the right training pack um, so I, I like to use this training pack just so I can sort of practice my dribbling or as, as it says uh, practice your flicks so anyway the flick that we're doing is the corkscrew flick it's very simple all we have to do is get under the ball flick and then simply push it up um, it can be quite hard to master um, I've done it a fair few times in the game um, but I like to use this this pack just to get a good practice um, wow, I'm really, really, really not doing it, it well for you guys. Um, there you go. There's, there's a good one. So, um, <laughs> it's, ve it's very good, especially in ones, because um, the amount of times you put in a 50-50 um, a uh, situation in ones um, is, well, is every single time you come in counter with the other player. So this is very very good if you're uh, you've got a one on one with the other player you can just sort of pop it over the other player. Um, so yeah, it is it is very handy. All right then guys, this is the end of this. I really do hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you want to see more of my content, you know what to do. Make sure you check out my Instagram at Druid Timitaza. It's on screen now. Uh, this is where I'll be posting frequent updates for my videos and content. Anyway, that's it for today. Take care.